presentation as a man of few words. Um, the, the topic today is, uh, is unity and justice. And so, as you, you probably both know, all know the definitions of those two words, uh, today I'll just demonstrate those two words in action when Muslims work together in unity and achieve results. So one story is, you might have actually heard both stories. The first is in 2009, um, if you know dear Abby or dear uh, Ann Landers, you also probably know dear Margo. Uh, in 2009, she was a syndicated columnist. Her, her column ran uh, among many more papers in the Seattle uh, Post Intelligence or the Seattle PI. And once she was given a question by a reader and she was asked, um, I have a, I have a uh, brother who is non-Muslim and he is engaged to a Muslim lady and the lady's family does not want to break off the engagement, so what should I do? As the advice columnists, uh, Margot Howard's response included words like honor killings and, and those kinds of things really uncalled for. It was basically an answer that was really bigoted simply because the person who asked, a, asked the question mentioned someone being Muslim. So, and at the end, of course, she said, if that doesn't work, call immigration on them. So basically someone asked what to do when their brother is engaged to a Muslim lady if, she, if they don't want to break it off. And she responds, you know, that tell them this, this, in this country we don't have this kind of stuff or that kind of stuff. And then if they don't agree, then call immigration on them. Really big response. The, someone called our office at CARE's office to tell us about what had happened. And they said that, I read this in the Seattle PI. This question was kind of a weird question. And the response given to it was really bigoted. What should we do? So what we did is we, uh, Jafar Sadiqi and, and CARE, um, sent out an action alert to the Muslim community and asked them to call the Seattle PI, to email them, and to call Margot Howard and email her as well, asking the Seattle PI to drop her article from the paper. And about 50, I imagine, no more than 50 people called or, and emailed her, uh, and, and as well as emailed the Seattle PI. And the result was that the Seattle PI dropped her article. They no longer run her article in the paper. So it's a very small action of unity, of cooperation, that resulted in a concrete result and a positive result. In a similar story in 2010, I think it was, um, a really anti-Muslim organization, they, uh, they hold training sessions for law enforcement where they basically don't really teach too much about anti-terrorism, they basically just teach, you know, inaccurate information about Islam. And that's really what they do. They're called Security Solutions International. In 2010, they actually co-sponsored a webinar about how um, the, SP, the Seattle Police Department and the Washington State Patrol use Microsoft technology to run their fusion centers. Uh, fusion centers are basically places where uh, local police departments cooperate with um, federal agencies together. So they're using Microsoft technology to bring all their information that they gather together so they can share the information. Um, so the webinar was supposed to be for um, law enforcement agencies it was co-sponsored by SSI, Security Solutions International, which we knew to be a really anti-Muslim organization. So the problem there was, why is the SPD, the State Patrol, and Microsoft working with this organization that's re uh, reputed to be really anti-Muslim, unacceptable to society? The response when we first contacted them as CARE and as Jafar Sadiqi uh, was that, well, you know, we're just, we're just having, they're simply providing the server for us to hold this webinar and that's all it is. So then we said, okay, we need, they need to hear from the community, right? So we sent out an action alert to the entire community letting them know that please email and call uh, the CEO of Microsoft, Steve Ballmer, uh, email and call the chief of the state, uh, state patrol, and email and call the chief of uh, Seattle Police Department. And so people, alhamdulillah, emailed them, called them, uh, and the result was the webinar was dropped. The SPD pulled their trainers from that training. The, the state patrol uh, asked their trainer to not conduct the training, so the webinar was canceled. So again, it's another, it's another example of people coming together, Muslims coming together, and taking a concrete, a, a quick action, a very short and easy action of calling or emailing, but that resulted in a very strong message that was sent to the SPD, to the State Patrol, and to that company that, you know, anything that's anti-Muslim or any organization that's anti-Muslim is just as unacceptable as any anti-Jewish, anti-black organization in America. So those are just examples of us working together, uh, taking action when we need to, and doing it together. And as you know, a people united cannot never be defeated. Oh. 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 Oh.